Welcome to MacroCode and today we are going to learn about how to create tabs in SP.NET Core. So on our previous video, we were able to create a simple application uh, to add employee using uh, SQLite. So you were able to create a simple crude app using SQLite. So if you're new to this video, consider watching our previous video on how to add an employee using SQLite database in uh, Mag. So for today's video, we will be focusing more on a uh, uh, tab in .NET Mac. So you can see uh, I have a simple project uh, where I have my models here for employees uh, model. Then I have my uh, view models. My view models. Here. Then I also have my app shell uh, employee list where we, we were able to populate employee. I have my Maui program.cs file where I add uh, some services, uh, views, and my view uh, model. Then uh, students details page to populate the details of the students and the list page uh, for the uh, students. So <clears throat> if you open the app shell uh, section, you'll be able to see that uh, we have uh, shell content with with it so what we need to do we need to have our our app shell so what i'll do is we'll comment this so just comment this so this is our simple app that we, we were creating previously. So I'll just stop it. So <clears throat> on this app option, so on this app shell, I just have my tab bar. Then uh, I'll give it a name. Then, which is students let's call it uh, employees tabs then inside here we'll have our tab then on this tab so this is our first tab so you can have the title you can call it home so i have my tab so inside 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 this tab we need to have a page so inside here we'll we'll do a shell content so we'll just so we'll just do this so inside here i need to suppose to specify some properties on what i'm using so one of it is the content template then data template then local then here I need to have my view so so we'll have main page so that is one of our term so so we can add our root. So we'll have our root there. So on our root, we can specify the main page. So <coughs> You can relaunch our app. We see what will happen. So,
So our app is uh, launching. So this is our tab. So let's have, uh, let's provide a list here. Let's stop this. Then we can have, we can replace this with the employee list, you see. So if we just launch this, <coughs> we'll be able to see only a single, a single page with employees uh, list. Yes, yeah, so you can see we have an employees list and you can actually add an employee. Uh, a new, new, new test at, at gmail.com. Then you can choose the calendar. Then you can save. Then you'll be able to see our list of employees here. So that is our first uh, tab. So you can be, not be able to see the tab. So if you see down here, we don't have uh, tabs. The reason being is uh, we, we only have only one tab. So that is why you cannot see the tab. So to add another tab, you can add two tabs. So we have, uh, can call it search, can call it search, then you can have another section, we call it account. So it's the same, so if we relaunch our app, So our app is launching. You can see now we have our home, which is our list of employees. We also have our tab here, which is also an employee list and an account, which is also an employee list. So if we, if we replace these with new pages, so we can actually create a search page on our app. So we do this, then a new item. Then dot uh, net my content page. Then we call this a uh, search page. Search page. Then add. So so when it's add, we can say welcome to search page. So we can actually use this now on our option and replace the search page here. Then you can create another one for account page. Add new new item, content page, then account a page. Then if you add that, you can say welcome to account page. So you can copy this, then upshell, then you can replace this here. So if we launch our app again, so you can see we have our home uh, search. You can see now our page is welcome to search page account. It is going to account page. So we have the different pages and uh, the tabs. So that is how you have the tabs in uh, in your app shell. So another thing that you need to know is uh, you can actually have icons. So you can just use icon, then you provide the name of the icon. So let's see, we have some icons. So, I don't have any. Let me just. I think I don't have any, but you can actually add uh, icons uh, on your on your on your app shell. So another thing that you need to know is within the app shell. For example, this one. We can add. Uh, 
uh, these pages. Let's assume we add another page inside this uh, content. Uh, our first tab. So if we do that and we relaunch our application, you see what will happen. So we have three shell content inside the, the first tab, which is on. So our application is launching. There you are. So you can see we have under the home page, we at the top here, we seem to have some tabs. If you click it, you'll be able to see that it is actually moving. So uh, within the home page, because we have the under the home page, we have uh, three uh, shell content. So you can be able to see at the top here, we have some tabs. But now you cannot know. So you can actually provide some labels. Uh, we can actually provide some text. So to do that, we come to shell content, then you say title, title, then you say home, then on this one you also say title, then you say search, then on this one also you say title, then you say account. So if we do that, let's relaunch our app. So our app is launching. You can see we have the OM search and account at the at the bottom here. But when we go to OM, we are able to see we have three pages: the OM search and account within under OM. So that is how you provide you work with uh, tabs in uh, .NET Amari. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. I'll uh, uh, share our videos and even comment down below. See you in our next uh, video. Bye.